And now, a movie that may actually improve your vocabulary. I think your advice is a bit too specific. Uh, the references to penises and vaginas should be toned down just a smidge. So I should use alternative terms like dick, wang, purple bulb, midget fireman's helmet, love sausage, and bearded clam? A movie that will teach you things you never knew about the opposite sex. Every man has a tiny vagina, and every woman has a tiny penis. Very, very tiny, but it's there. I don't think so. A movie that proves you're not the only schizoid maniac on your block. The buses have been categorized as to particular condition and ailment. Premature ejaculators, non-ejaculators, and retrograde ejaculators on board, please. Nymphomaniacs, don't let me out of your sight. A movie that will help you find yourself. I'm not sick. I just need space. I finally found a place I fit in as well as I do the nut house, Beverly Hills. So if it's been years, months, days, minutes, or seconds since you've really laughed, we urge you to seek professional help. Dan Aykroyd. But I don't want to escape with you. I hate you. Walter Matthau. I can accept that. Charles Grodin. You had sex with one of your pigs? Donna Dixon. The Couch Trip. Well, he said, balls, asshole, son of a bitch, and finally fuck. We're okay on balls, we're iffy on son of a bitch, and even asshole is somewhat anatomically potentially forgivable. There's no getting around fuck. Coming soon to a theater you can deal with. <laughs>